All right, so I had a gentleman yesterday asking me if I could help him out with something. So he is using, I believe, an artillery sidewinder. Let me double check here real quick so I don't make a mistake and tell you the wrong thing. Yes, so uh, user Grandpa Bill said, can you tell me why, no matter what print temps I set in Kiro, when I load my artillery SWX1, print is always changed to 220. And it doesn't matter what filament either, it always goes to 220. So my first suggestion when this happens is to check the other temperature settings. So there is more than one. And as we look here in material, you can see that it has the printing temperature, which is set to 205 at the moment. But there are these three other settings in here as well that pertain to the extruder, the, the hot end itself. So the initial layer temperature can be set to something different than the, than the actual print temperature. Okay, and you can see how this would cause problems. So if I set the printing temperature to, let's say, 240 because I want to print some PETG and my printing temperature of the initial layer is stuck at 220 because these settings have become independent from each other because I have changed them independently um, this is going to heat up to 220 instead of heating up to 240 so then it's going to start printing at 220 but it will start raising the temperature immediately after it starts printing to 240 this may cause problems if you're printing PETG if you're doing PLA, you should be fine. Uh, but you just want to make sure that all of these settings are the same. And that is your best bet. Now, you can change the initial printing temperature as well. Um, say this is 220. That means it won't start until it's 220. If I were to leave this at 240, it would heat up to 240. And then it would make it cool down to print the initial layer at 220. And then it would heat back up to 240 through the printing process after that. So um, this can really throw you and really mess with your temperatures. Make sure all of these are consistent. If you don't have them showing and you, all you're seeing is the print temperature, go ahead and select the cog wheel and then you can check those here and they will show up in the inspector on this side over here, okay? So uh, short of that, if that's not your problem, the other thing you can check is your your filament settings for the profile that you're using um, and possibly your printer settings as well so let's take a look at both of those things uh, let's look at printer manage printers machine settings um, and right here uh, there is no basic built-in heated hot end temperature so we don't have to worry about that with Kira it's not really a problem um, if you go into materials um, and depending on which one you have selected these can be changed there are temperature settings in here um, and they can be different they can be set to well things that aren't really ideal I guess um, and it's under print settings okay they have a default printing temperature here so if you say entered your settings and then changed which you're using it'll change those settings if you enter your settings and then change it to a different setting and somehow hit uh, revert to its its main state, its base state, um, it can change that setting as well. So um, those are those are the main causes of the printer not printing at the temperature that you specify. Uh, I believe the Sidewinder. I thought I read that it goes up to 300, so you shouldn't have any issues as far as printing and printing with high temperature things. It should definitely reach that temperature. The only other thing to watch out here for here is. Um, the main thing basically is it printing is it reaching 220 and then starting to print um, or is it just reaching 220 and shutting off or are you getting any sort of error a min temp error a max temp error or something like that because those can lead to uh, other problems you might have such as a loose connection to the thermistor or the thermistor actually hanging slightly out of the heating block which can cause a bad temperature reading so um, yeah I would check these, these temperature settings first and make sure that they're all the same uh, because that is probably your best bet. Let me know how this works out, man. I am anxious to see if this helps you at all, and I hope that it did. And that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to become a Technivore, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. 
and YouTube's suggesting a video for you right here. And there's a playlist right here that's just 3D printing stuff. Also, if you'd like to see your name up top with the rest of my Patreon supporters, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. There, YouTube can contribute to the channel and make the Technivorous channel even better.